I'm sorry about that. Um, I cut off. You know, when you get that text message, it frees the whole jump off. So, yeah, so this is my dude. Like I said, we're working at the same job together. Um, I, was, I was doing um, labor work. And then when the job was over, my man put me on security. So we're doing security together or whatever. And this is my dude. You know, I noticed that um, he liked to hit up the bars. Like, like to hit up the bars with the uh, tequila and all of that, right? Um, and and, and um, pool and things like that. You know, he's, he's a more outgoing dude than I am. You know what I mean? That's his thing. Uh, so I noticed that he was doing that, um, you know, every weekend or every other weekend. Um... And I would see pictures, man, on the Instagram, him and, um, you know, some Mexican peeps, you know what I mean? And a, a Mexican uh, sister that he was, like, kind of always hugged up with and all of that, right? So, you know, I didn't ask questions, you know, ain't really none of my business or whatever. Um, because, you know, if people feel comfortable introducing you uh, to their friends, their loved ones, their parents, whatever, then that's on no, you know what I mean? So, I, you know, but anyway, long story short, we talking and everything. And um, he expressed to me how he had feelings for um, a Mexican woman. And he was worried about what people would think about him. Um, so me, myself, I know that you have all different type of people, all different type of nationalities, colors, uh, whatever and um, they think uh, different ways man you know um, clearly him and uh, the Mexican woman clearly thought opposite of the stat quote you know what I mean evidently this is what brought them together and um, that's what brings a lot of us together it's just curiosity man uh, so anyway long story short he's a good dude um, I got to meet her a uh, few times, a few times, and um, she, she seems like a beautiful person inside and out, uh, but I know that he has good judgment, so he's not going to pick just anyone, and I know what type of brother he is, so, um, but you got people that's wrestling with that, man, you know, they're worried about what their family going to think, uh, their loved ones, uh, friends, um, even people that don't know them, you know, um, they're looking at things on the surface, and they're judging themselves based on what other people think. And this is why a lot of times relationships uh, don't go anywhere. You're in a relationship, not them. They're not in a relationship. So me, myself, I say, of course, uh, we want to keep uh, the brown nation, uh, a.k.a. the black nation, uh, pure. Man, we want to keep it strong, of course. Uh, that's on one level. And some people don't. So, um... You know, but who am I to uh, disregard that brother's feelings, his emotions, and saying you can't be in love with this type of person, man. I'm not gay, so I'm not giving him any. So, um, you know, I look at it like this, man. Uh, true love overrides all of that. True love rise, overrides all of that, man. So if it's true love, then I can see. But if it's just something where, hey, I heard black men got big... So let me get at him, or I heard if I get a white girl, right, or someone other than, uh, AKA my own kind, then my life will be better, man. If it's based on that, then I say, nah, man, that, that's garbage, and it shouldn't be. But if, 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 if they're truly in love, and they're gonna help each other uh, become better people in society, and have beautiful children, and you know, create that good vibe, man, then I'm all for it, man. Keep it funky.